All right, Mark Hensby, four under 67. Mark, can you talk us through that round? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I got off to a decent start, which always helps, especially in a tournament like this. And, uh, yeah, just kind of played pretty solid. Um, it's a few tee shots towards the end, but hit it far enough to where I could still get it on the green somewhat. And, uh, yeah, so it was overall a good day. Yeah, do you think you had the better end of the draw going out this afternoon? For sure, yeah. I mean, this morning, it's probably a two, I. I I can't even put a number on it, but yeah, no. Anytime you don't have to put an umbrella up and clean all that sort of stuff, so for sure we definitely had the better side of the draw. And the weather's definitely supposed to improve the next three days. Yeah. How do you think the course is going to change? Uh, it's probably firm up a bit, I would think. Um, it was a lot softer today, so um, obviously scores are showing that this afternoon. So um, yeah, it, it'll probably firm up, I would think. A uh, question over to your right. Hey, Marco, uh, what what are your uh, impressions of this golf course? Um, it's tough. I mean, the, the greens um, are probably, if they got a little bit too fast, might be, could get out of hand, I think. Um, but right now, uh, it's a tough golf course. I mean, if you don't drive it in the right areas um, and you get it on the wrong side of the greens, it's, it's very difficult to, uh, to uh, make a score. So um, overall, the golf course is in great condition, though. Um, and if you play well, you can shoot a score. Yeah. Any uh, holes today where were things kind of turned around for you to the, for the better? Um, yeah, I probably missed my tee shot on 10 up the right. I tried to hit driver, um, and uh, I got a decent sort of a lie, and I hit a good shot in there and made birdie, and I think that kind of kept the momentum going for sure. Right. There's not much in your record as far as past performances. Have you been playing much? Uh, I finished seventh in Puerto Rico uh, on the PJ Tour earlier this year. Um, and then I finished uh, top 10 at the senior PGA. But, right. you know, I played a few tournaments, but not, not a whole lot. So how do you stay sharp? Um, just train and practice, and hopefully when it comes to go, you know, you're ready to go. Good. Thank you. Mark, of the right. six birdies that uh, you had, uh, were there one or two that you were especially proud of, especially with that start you had? Yeah, number two was a good one. Um, that's that was a tough pin. I hit a pretty good drive and I had a good six iron in there and, and made a good putt over a ridge. Um, so um, that one was a good one. Uh, the one on 15, I took driver over the bunkers and I, I pulled a little bit, but got in the rough and I got that up and down from. I wasn't. I was pretty close to the green, so uh, that was a good one. You're kind of a rare bird where you got to be 50 twice in this championship. Uh, Last year, you were the youngest player in the field, and here you are 50 again before your birthday coming up. But yeah. it's it's two different things. Last year, you had an issue where you had to leave the championship early, and now here you are in the lead. Yeah. Can you talk about the difference in the two years? Yeah, kind of interesting. You know, I have uh, I had some medical issues last year. Well, I still do have kind of sleep issues. You know, I had bad insomnia, and um, last year was I was up for three or four days before that first round, and. It was unfortunate because I was actually playing pretty well then. Um, so, you know, this year, um, you know, got it under control somewhat. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny how I had to withdraw and now I'm leading. So pretty cool. Thanks, Mark. Good yep. plan. No worries. Thank Thanks. Thanks. Thank you Thanks very much. Lot. Thank you.